Assalamualaikum dear students. Welcome once again to our new section of the video classes. And in this class, we will learn how to introduce yourself. Today, I have someone special who will introduce herself. Let's learn from her how to introduce. I'm requesting Nahian to introduce yourself. Firstly, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity. And it's my pleasure to introduce myself. I'm Nahian Islam before you. You can call me Nahian. I am an ATC examinee at Mrs. to Munshi Abdurrof Public College in Science. I grew up in a family consisting of five members, my father, mother, I and two sisters. My father has his own business and my mother is a homemaker. In my all academic exams, PSC, GSC, SSC, I've done a brilliant result. That's why I've got some prizes and recognitions from my institutions and local counselor. My parents are also pleased, so they gifted me a mobile phone. Though I have wasted a lot of time by using it, but I've used it in the right way. I've completed my online classes, and now I'm now I'm trying to learn new different things through it. My aim is to be a doctor. My parents also appreciate it. From my childhood, they desire it, so they inspired me in a different way. However, I like spending time in nature. I have a pet bird named Nikki. Spending time with his one of my favorite things to do. I also like to travel. I often plan trips with my family. Uh, I also love learning new skills. Recently, I've been interested in English. That's all about myself in short. Okay, I have some question for you. Are you ready to answer? Yes. Why are you learning English? I'm interested in English. I don't know why, but when someone, but when I learned that someone speaks in English. That attracts me. Uh, besides, I want to be a doctor and I want to develop our, our medical sectors. That's why in future I have to go to abroad for taking some new degrees. Uh, for that, I have to communicate and exchange my ideas and thoughts with my uh, colleagues, my professors and doctors and healthcare services. For that, I have to learn English and that's why I'm learning English. Okay, as you have already told that you want to be a doctor, can you let yes. me know why you want to be a doctor? Well, I said you earlier that I want to be a doctor. There are many reasons for choosing doctor as my aim. I belong to a middle class family. So I know the matter contradiction of the middle class family between economic and dignity. They can go to get proper treatment for this economic problem and they also can uh, get free treatment for the fear of losing their dignity. By becoming a doctor, I want to take care of the pain and the sufferings of the others. As a doctor, I want to be a continuous source of happiness for people and their families. I believe that if when I will be able to spread happiness towards others, I will also be the happiest person in that moment. Besides, every year a lot of rich people go abroad for their better medical treatment. I want to establish a better medical treatment for that I want to be a doctor. Okay, as you want to be a doctor, so I think you should focus on your medical related subjects. Then, why are you focusing on English? Because most of the things of medical department are written and described in English. Uh, the books of medical sectors and higher education are written in English. 90% uh, of medical terms are used in English. And uh, in future, I want to go abroad for taking some higher degrees. Uh, so I have to communicate with uh, my professor, teachers, the, uh, their doctors, patients. Uh, so I need to learn these things uh, properly. And that's why I, wa I, I'm now focusing in English. Do you have any suggestion for the new learners? For new learners, I want to say speaking with someone in English is an achievement. Uh, every simple interaction no matter how small, will help you improve your skills uh, over time. So you have to practice English. Practice is speaking English. For practicing, find a partner. Uh, they can be your family members, your friends, and your teachers. Talk to yourself may look funny, but by talking to yourself in English in front of mirror, you, uh, it will help. It will help to take your in speaking English uh, skills to a uh, to next next level. So I want to say you should uh, you should practice English. Uh, along with this, 
uh, you can also practice tongue twisters. Tongue twisters help your diction teach how to speak quickly. That's all about for new learners. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nanyal, for your good suggestions and also for your nice presentation. Thank you for your nice compliment.